Not good to use one day color. It's gonna be a hot mess. It's all part of the fail. Hey Zam fam, it's Rebecca, and today I'm gonna be attempting to change my hair color. So recently, a YouTuber named Wenji, who I love, did a DIY unicorn hair tutorial, and I thought, you know what? I've made unicorn slime before, but I have never had unicorn hair. So today's the day I'm gonna try it. Now, Wenji's DIY unicorn hair looked really, really good, but I am not a hairdresser, and so this might turn into a huge fail. I mean, I'm not even a beauty guru. Definitely not. So let's see how I do on this DIY unicorn hair tutorial. Hey, kind of I'm not used to seeing her with just blonde hair. I'm used to her with unicorn hair. So I use this oil, Trix Exquisite Oil. This was given to me by my hairdresser studio. Okay, I don't have the oil she has, but I have this like silk therapy oil. And to be honest, my hair is really dry. And I never use oil. I probably should. I've had that for like 10 years now. Dry hair, hashtag relatable. Okay, so she is just taking the oil mm. and like putting it in her hair. I think you're just supposed to go on the edges. She didn't really tell you where. Pretty sure you're not supposed to put it on your roots, but I have no idea. The bleaching that I did. Oh, bleaching makes your hair dry. That must be why my hair is dry. I mean, I'm a natural blonde. Then I add some heat protectant thermal spray. Oh, so she is using thermal spray because she's straightening her hair, but I want to leave these curls in. I didn't wake up and curl my hair for nothing. So we're going to skip that part and go to the color. Okay. This has bleach blonde hair like myself. Yes, bleach blonde. Not good to use one day color. That's exactly what I am using today. Oh my gosh. Stay stain. I initially bought this colorista L'Oreal. I haven't tried it as a strand, first of all, because I don't want my hair to stain. I don't want my hair to stay. What if this is a huge fail and I have to wear this for a week? You have like bleached hair and apparently you don't want it to stain. Hair chalk. I have hair chalk. Okay, so she got Color Addict hair chalk, and that is actually an Australian brand, so they do not sell it here in the US. So I have this hair chalk that I found, and it's two different brands, so we're gonna see which one works better. Hopefully, they both work, and I can do this hair tutorial. That washes out much easier. Oh, good. Oh, good. It washes out. I hope so. The Color Addict spray hair chalk. using chalk now she's using a spray I'm so confused okay her hands are getting really messy wait she has gloves I have no gloves that means if I try to do this on my hair it's gonna be a hot mess so it looks like she's starting the process so let me get my mirror we're gonna go oh <gasps> whoa look at this I have never had my hair a different color besides my natural color and blonde since pink is my favorite color I want you guys to give this video a thumbs up right now and subscribe and turn on notifications if you have not do that in five four three two one if you did both of those things in that time I want you to hashtag pink squad which is my favorite color in the comment section do it have you guys had your hair any other color besides your natural color? Let me know in the comment section right now. This is turning out so cool. Now I'm on to the other side. This is hard when you're left-handed. Okay, my hands are definitely not staying clean. I wish I had gloves. It's all part of the fail. Okay, so now she said to brush it. Ah, I should brush my hair more than I really do. I really like this pink hair. I hope I don't fail when I try to do it unicorn colors because I really like this pink right now. So I kind of feel like you should apply the color a little bit lower than you need and then use a brush to kind of blend it up. Oh, they also got this the brush blends it up. So the brush is also, I just learned, to go up to your head. So you're supposed to like put the color lower and then go up. I kind of started up high. That's okay, we're still going. All right, so now she is using the blue and she says put it on the tip. So <gasps> hair chalk for the win right now. What are you guys thinking so far? Do you think it looks good or do you think I should keep my natural? I wanna know right now. I hope you guys have thumbs up this video by now for unicorn hair. Who else loves Wenji by the way? I love watching all her DIYs. And then I also love when she collabs with Cohen's Key. I think the two of them are so funny together. Let me know if you think I should collab with Wendy. Brush in the blue to try to blend into the pink. Oh my gosh, it's kind of working. I feel like I need to do more blue up top. 
I have no idea if this is good or not because this is my first time. I'm gonna see if I can cover the bottom with the hair chalk as well to make it a little bit more blue. Oh, mine's blue all right. I don't have to cover anything up. It's definitely blue. It's like Kylie Jenner on the bottom. I kind of feel like I've got my unicorn hair back. I'm just gonna go in and do this for the rest of my hair. She just uses two colors, which is the pink and the blue because that blends to purple. I feel like mine isn't blending as much. So I actually have a purple hair chalk. I found one. So even though she didn't have to do it because she mixed the pink and the blue, I'm gonna try add the purple like right in the middle because I think it will look good. It'll look more like unicorn hair. Beauty guru in training. Oh my gosh, this is actually working. Brushing it through, because that's what Wendy told me to do. So I'm gonna do it. She is the expert. All right, time to blend it all in. And now I'm just kind of touching it all up so it looks really vibrant. Wow, this just was the front of my head. I would normally try to do the whole thing, but this would take a long time. Oh my gosh, this is just crazy. I'm so excited right now. I never thought I would have unicorn hair. My hands are unicorn too. This is a hot mess, but I am a hot mess. Again, blending all the colors with the brush. What are you guys thinking? You like it? How am I doing? All right, you guys, and this is the final look for the DIY unicorn hair. Here's a picture of me and Wenji to compare. My hands are obviously a big hot mess, but I tried following a Wenji hair tutorial and I think I did a pretty good job, right? I wanna thank Wenji for inspiring this video. If you wanna see her video, I will link it in the description below. Let me know, you guys, if you thought this was a pass or a fail, and also if you've ever had your hair a different color other than your natural color. I wanna know. Subscribe and join the Zam Fam if you have not already. Love you guys so much. Stay weird and wah! I really hope my hair doesn't fall out after this. Wenji is shooked right now. Shook, shook, did I say that right? Look, I'm a unicorn.